It doesn't matter what skill you're teaching, whether it's skiing or goal setting, the same skill pedagogy can work. Hello, health teachers. As we transition to skills-based health education, it's important we teach skills in a thoughtful way. Let me give a quick shout out to my daughter who's skiing in this video before we take a closer look at the process. To begin, we need to introduce the skill to our students. We can describe what it is and how it's done. It's often useful to demo the skill so students can get a picture of what it looks like before they try it. Next, we may slow things down to guide students as they attempt the skill for the first time. In the health classroom, this is a great time to use scenarios with fictional characters. After their initial attempt, it's important to give specific feedback to help students refine the skill. Be sure to point out what they did well so they can repeat it, in addition to giving them suggestions about how and what to correct. Mileage helps us to develop comfort with a skill. Give students lots of independent practice time for them to apply the skill in their own lives. Provide continuous feedback so that students can refine their practice and continue to develop their skills. Finally, allow time for students to evaluate themselves and reflect on the process. What did they do well? What worked and what didn't? What would they change and how would they change it? This reflection can help inform additional practice opportunities. As you design your skills-based health lessons, consider skill pedagogy. Develop a system to introduce and demo the skill. Then allow for independent practice, provide continuous feedback, and take time to allow students to evaluate and reflect on the process.